November is coming are curious about All Saints Day, why we celebrate it on today's video you will learn why we do have this every 11th of the month. All Saints Day, also known as All Hallows Day, Halomas, better source needed the Feast of All Saints, or Solemnity of All Saints, is a Christian solemnity celebrated in honor of all the saints of the church whether they are known or unknown. Where does All Saints Day come from? Pope Boniface IV formally started what would later be known as All Saints Day on May 13 in 609 AD when he dedicated the Pantheon in Rome as a church in honor of the Virgin Mary and all martyrs. The current date of November 1st was established by Pope Gregory III during his reign. 731-741 ad, when he dedicated a chapel in Rome's St. Peter's Basilica in honor of, all saints. While this celebration was originally limited to Rome, later in 837 Pope Gregory IV ordered the official observance of All Saints Day every November 1st and extended its celebration to the entire church. What are the origins of All Saints Day and All Souls Day? Are these linked with paganism and Halloween both the Feast of All Saints and the Feast of All Souls evolved in the life of their church independently of paganism and Halloween? However, elements of pagan practices were perhaps baptized by some cultures or attached themselves to the celebration of All Saints and All Souls. Let us first address the Feast of All Saints. The exact origins of this celebration are uncertain, although, after the legalization of Christianity in 313, a common commemoration of the saints, especially the martyrs, appeared in various areas throughout the church. For instance in the East, the city of Edessa celebrated this feast on May 13th the Syrians, on the Friday after Easter, and the city of Antioch, on the first Sunday after Pentecost. Both Street Ephraim and St. John Chrysostom attest to this feast day in their preaching. In the West, a commemoration for all the saints also was celebrated on the first Sunday after Pentecost. The primary reason for establishing a common feast day was because of the desire to honor the great number of martyrs, especially during the persecution of Emperor Diocletian, the worst and most extensive of the persecutions. Quite simply, there were not enough days of the year for a feast day for each martyr and many of them died in groups. A. Common feast day for all saints, therefore, seemed most appropriate. The designation of November 1st as the Feast of All Saints occurred over time. Pope Gregory III, 731-741, dedicated an oratory in the original St. Peter's Basilica in honor of all the saints on November 1st, at least according to some accounts and this date then became the official date for the celebration of the Feast of All Saints in Rome. Street Bede, d. 735, recorded the celebration of All Saints Day on November 1st in England, and such a celebration also existed in Salzburg, Austria. Adu of Vienne, d. 875, recounted how Pope Gregory IV asked King Louis the Pious to proclaim November 1st as All Saints Day throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Sacramentaries of the 9th and 10th centuries also placed the Feast of All Saints on the liturgical calendar on November 1st. According to an early church historian, John Beleth, d. 1165, Pope Gregory IV, 827 844, officially declared November 1st the Feast of All Saints, transferring it from May 13. However, Sicard of Cremona, d. 1215, recorded that Pope Gregory VII, 1073 85, 
finally suppressed May 13th and mandated November 1st as the date to celebrate the Feast of All Saints. In all, we find the Church establishing a liturgical feast day in honor of the saints independent of any pagan influence. Now for the pagan connection, November 1st marked Samhain, the beginning of the Celtic winter. The Celts lived as early as 2000 years ago in England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and northern France. Samhain, for whom the feast was named, was the Celtic Lord of Death, and his name, literally meant summer's end. Since winter is the season of cold, darkness, and death, the Celts soon made the connection with human death. The Eve of Samhain, October 31st, was a time of Celtic pagan sacrifice, and Samhain allowed the souls of the dead to return to their earthly homes that evening. Ghosts, witches, goblins, and elves came to harm the people, particularly those who had inflicted harm on them in this life. Cats too were considered sacred because they had once been human beings who had been changed as a punishment for their evil deeds on this earth. To protect themselves from marauding evil spirits on the eve of Samhain, the people extinguished their hearth fires, and the druids, the priests and spiritual teachers of the Celts, built a huge New Year's bonfire of sacred oak, branches. The druids offered burnt sacrifices crops, animals, even humans and told fortunes of the coming year by examining the burned remains. People sometimes wore costumes of animal heads and skins. From this new fire, the home hearths were again ignited. Particular ethnic groups developed their own law which was merged with the celebration. In Ireland, people held a parade in honor of Muck, Ola, a god. They followed a leader dressed in a white robe with a mask from the head of an animal, and begged for food. Ireland is also the source of the jack-o'-lantern fable, a man named Jack was not able to enter heaven because of his miserliness and he could not enter hell because he played practical jokes on the devil, so he was condemned to walk the earth with his lantern until judgment. Day, the Scots walked through fields and villages carrying torches and lit bonfires to ward off witches and other evil spirits. In Wales, every person placed a marked stone in the huge bonfire. If a person's stone could not be found the next morning, he would die within a year. Besides the Celtic traditions in place, the Roman conquest of Britain in AD 43 brought two other pagan feasts, Feralia, was held in late October to honor the dead. Another autumn festival honored Pomona, the goddess of fruits and trees, probably through this festival, apples became associated with Halloween. Elements of these Roman celebrations were combined with the Celtic Samhain. With the spread of Christianity and the establishment of All Saints Day, some of these pagan customs remained in the English-speaking world for All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween, All Saints' Eve, perhaps at first more out of superstition, and later, more out of fun. Nevertheless, All Saints Day clearly arose from genuine Christian devotion independent of Halloween, why do we celebrate All Saints Day? The Christian celebration of All Saints Day and All Souls Day stems from a belief that there is a powerful spiritual bond between those in heaven, the church triumphant, and the living, the church militant. In Catholic theology, the day commemorates all those who have attained the beatific vision in heaven. Is Halloween and All Saints Day the same? Halloween is the evening before the Christian holy days of All Hallows Day, also known as All Saints or Hallows, on the 1st of November and All Souls Day on the 2nd of November, thus, giving the holiday on the 31st of October the full name of All Hallows Eve, meaning the evening before All Hallows Day, 
Are All Saints Day and All Souls Day the same? All Saints Day is a feast day celebrated on 1st November. All Souls Day, 2nd November, is a time to pray for departed souls. In All Saints Day what do people do? All Saints Day is observed by Christians in many countries around the world, in countries such as Spain, Portugal and Mexico, offerings are made on this day. In countries such as Belgium, Hungary and Italy people bring flowers to the graves of dead relatives. In other parts of Europe, such as Austria, Croatia, Poland, and Romania, it is customary to light candles on top of visiting graves of deceased relatives. It is also observed in parts of Asia, such as the Philippines, where people visit graves of deceased relatives and clean or repair them. They also lay flowers on the graves and light candles. In France church services in memory of all the saints are held on November 1st but by the evening the focus turns towards the dead. Cemeteries everywhere are crowded with people who come to clean and decorate family graves. All, all Saints Day is closely tied with All Souls Day, held on November 2nd, which is dedicated to prayers of the dead who are not yet glorified.